Hey there, my wrist-free warriors. In this strong, dynamic, 50-minute flow, we're gonna slowly start to rehab the wrists. If you've been a wrist-free warrior with me for a while, your wrists might be starting to get a little bit better. We're not gonna do plank, we're not gonna do chaturanga, but we will explore bringing a small amount of weight into the wrists, as well as some standing wrist strengthening exercise. All of this woven into a pretty deliciously strong flow that's really gonna challenge your hips and your balance. It's gonna be sweaty and hopefully you're gonna feel great afterwards. Let's get going, friends. <laughs> So friends, we are gonna start standing at the front of the mat. Bring your feet about hip distance apart. Spread your toes, root them down. We're going to allow the chest to lift gently and just allow your arms to rest beside you. We'll begin with three slow, deep breaths to set the tone for our practice. Breathing in with me through the nose. Breathing out through the nose. Breathing in, let the shoulders drop. Breathing out, tap into your deep strength and courage. Last one, breathing in, in playfulness and lightheartedness. Breathing out in strength. To begin with, inhale arms up by the ears. And then exhale, take them back down by the sides. Just two more, breathing in. Deep breath out. When the breath is calm, the movement stays calm, which is really good when it gets stronger. Chair pose, breathing in, arms up by the ears. Let's hold, sit the hips back. It's the first one, so we don't have to go super deep. But could you really spread your fingers? Start to activate and strengthen the hands. One more breath here. And then slowly come to stand. We're going to flow. Inhale, chair pose, arms by your ears. Keep your knees bent as you exhale, fold. Fingertips may come down. Let's inhale, lift up halfway. Long spine, strong legs. Exhale, step the left foot back. I'm just using my fingertips so my wrists aren't working too much. Arms coming up by the ears, deep breath in. Let's hold, heart rising. If you love the little details, imagine you're like a superhero with a really big upper back, really broad shoulders, wide across the upper back. Dragon wings, as you exhale, arms come back. Inhale forwards, fingertips really actively spreading, flowing as we strengthen the hands. One more. And this time, arms reach forwards in front of you. Tuck your back toes, lift the back knee off the floor. You can shorten if that feels better. We're gonna lunge very mindfully, kiss the knee to the ground. Five. Exhaling down for four. Three. Start to feel a little bit of fire in the glutes. Two, <laughs> wobble with me. <laughs> One, from here, come back to stand, step forwards. Chair pose, breathing in. Exhale, fold, fingertips down, knees bend. Lift up halfway, long back, shoulders back. And then right foot steps back, back knee down, barely using the hands, arms by the ears. Again, take a moment to reach. And a superhero back, wide in the shoulders, hands wide. Calm breaths, might as well. And then dragon wings on your next natural exhale. Following me, arms back, powerful to the shoulders. Inhale up, two more. As you inhale, hands reach forwards, tuck the back toes. Up we pop, coming up. Slightly shorten the stance if it feels better. And down we go, back knee to the ground, five. And four. I'm straightening my front leg, challenging my balance. Three. You've got this. Two. 
shoulders calm, one, and step forward. So we're gonna repeat the sequence and build it. Chair pose, breathing in. Exhale, forward fold, fingertips down. Lift up, lengthen the legs. Left foot steps back. Inhale, hands to the heavens. Dragon wings just once. Tuck your back toes. Inhale, back knee lifts. Dragon wings standing in the lunge. Two more active fingers, strengthen those wrists. Get ready for warrior two. Inhale, arms up, keep front knee bent. Exhale, back foot turns down, arms wide. Let's pay attention to the front knee. Keep it really steady. And let's reverse, breathing in. Both hands reaching like you could pick hold of the sun and reversing. Two more, reaching, catching hold of the sun. Last one. If you're familiar with the sequence, we are gonna build it, warrior two. High lunge, big step forwards. Pause here. As you stand at the front of your mat, can you gently press your palms forwards? Spread the fingers like you're doing a plank. Push through the palm. Can you check that your elbows are really straight? Go easy with this. Don't cause pain or discomfort. If it feels really uncomfortable, don't pull the fingers back so much. Getting a little bit of strength in the wrists. Okay, let's release chair pose. Exhale, folding forwards. Heart lifting like sunrise, heating, fiery. Right foot steps back, knee down. Inhale, hands to the heavens, active through the arms, dragon wings. Tuck back, toes lift up, high lunge. Dragon wings, channel your inner dragon. Could be friendly, could be playful, could be ferocious, <laughs> could be protective. Warrior two, as you breathe in, find length in the back leg. As you breathe out, heel down, take a pause. Check your front foot is pointing forwards. And let's reverse, breathing in. Reaching for the sun, bringing the fieriness of the sun into the flow, two more. Last one. And warrior two, high lunge, step forwards, mountain pose, front of your mat. This time as you reach the hands forwards, could you bring your fingertips to touch your thumb, like little bird beaks or hooves, and now could you curl the fingers in towards the wrists? We're gonna hold here. Again, just check this doesn't cause too much discomfort, but this can be really strengthening for the wrists and forearms. Arms straight, shoulders down, three. Keep drawing the fingers in, two, and one. Shake it out, building again, inhale, chair pose. This time we're gonna hold hips back. Option one, stay here. Option two, heels lift off the floor, sit lower, four. Keep the ribs in slightly, three, two, and one. Heels down, forward fold, legs a bit longer now. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, left foot back, same sequence. As you breathe in, hands to the heavens, palms in prayer this time. Take the prayer behind the neck. Now. If that feels comfortable, can you bring your elbows towards each other? Lift your heart up like a proud chested pigeon or dove. <sighs> and then let's start to drop the hips forwards and down gently and then come back out four more times. Deep breaths, keep the breath calm and steady. And now keep the prayer behind your neck, tuck the back toes, back knee lifts off the floor. Really straighten that back leg, puff the chest up. Option to back bend slightly here. And then dragon wings, exhaling. Two more. Lifting up. Warrior two, back heel down. We're gonna flow some more. Let's reverse, breathing in. Listen and watch closely. Arms reach forwards, reach for the sun, pause. 
Bend the back knee. We're now going to carry the sun in the hands to the back of the mat. Change your feet round. Warrior two at the back of your mat. Your left foot is forwards. Reversing, breathing in. Reach for the sun. Carry the sun. Go low through the hips and the knees. Pivot your feet. Warrior two. Take a check. Your back toes are turned in. Front foot facing forwards. Now listen closely. From here, imagine left hand and left ankle are attached by a string. We're going to lift the left hand and the left ankle and slowly bring that left hand onto the floor inside that right foot. Bring a little bit of weight into the wrist. If this feels too much, you can make a fist instead or you could be very light on the fingertips. See what works. Turn the chest. Circle the right arm for three. And two. And one. Lower your back knee down. Reach that right hand towards the back foot. Turn the chest. Expand. Take a deep inhale. You've got this. Exhale. Hands down inside the front foot. Can you wiggle your right foot out to the side a little bit? Do what you need to here. If your hands uh, find it difficult on the floor, you can come onto fists. We're going to rock the hips. Glamour pose. <laughs> This is lizard. I'm going to channel your inner lizard. Apologies if you're scared of them. <laughs> and then let's release. We're going to come onto the hands and knees. So knee comes back and take your hands further in front of your shoulders than usual. So from here, spread your fingers, a little bit of weight in the wrist. Very gently bring some weight forwards into the hands. When it starts to become too much, stop. Go back. A little bit of wrist rehab. Slowly coming forwards. And back. Two more. Notice the more your shoulders go over the wrist, the stronger it's going to feel. So often this position back here feels better than being up here. So we're going to use that a bit to rehab later. For now though, coming back onto all fours, bring that right foot forwards. Crescent lunge. Back toes tuck, back knee left, step forwards, mountain pose. Ready for the second side? I am. Inhale, arms up, chair pose. Exhale, folding. Halfway up, long spine. Right foot gently steps back, back knee down. Inhale, hands to the heavens. Take a moment, really puff up the chest, lift, and then prayer behind the neck. Squeeze the elbows in. And let's slowly dip the hips forwards and back a few times. This type of movement is called reversibility. It teaches your nervous system that it's safe to go lower because you can get back out. So it's quite clever. You might get more flexible faster than you think with this kind of movement. Okay, from here, back toes tuck, power up the back knee, high lunge, elbows in, chest up. Option to arch back if it feels good. Holding three. Holding two. And one. Release the hands, warrior two. When you're ready, reversing with me. Both arms reach forwards. This time, pause. Option one, hold here. Option two, floating half moon. It could be low with the foot like this. Or you could be skimming the fingertips just above the ground. Holding for four. Wherever you are, strong arms, strong legs, three, two, one. Back foot comes down. If you lift it, reach for the sun, carry it to the back of the mat. Warrior two at the back of your mat, right foot faces forwards. Let's reverse breathing in. Here we go again. Option one, hold here. This is super strong in the leg, this option. Option two, half moon. Doesn't matter if you fall over. In fact, it's quite excellent. <laughs> You'll adapt and build strength and awareness through wobbling. It's great. Two more breaths. Last one. Back foot comes down, reach for the sun. Get even lower through your hips this time. Kind of like a sumo style warrior too. Remember, right wrist and right ankle have a thread or string attached to them. Right hand lift, right ankle lifts, cartwheel that right hand down, either palm or fist or fingertips. 
There you are, let's circle the left arm. <laughs> Three. Can you keep the back leg quite strong? Two, really straighten. Yeah, I know you're doing it. And one, from here, back knee comes down. Reach for the back foot. Again, if it's too much in the front wrist, adapt, maybe on the fist, maybe on the fingertips. And then hands down into lizard. Wiggle your left foot to the side. Give yourself as much space as you need. And then let's rock a little bit. It doesn't matter if you have to take the foot out wider to get the hands down. Let's make it feel good. Two more deep breaths here. And then from here, once again, coming back to all fours. For a moment, let's take child's pose, but we're gonna keep the heat going. And now slowly come back up. Okay, so your hands are in front of the shoulders, far in front. Now, one thing that can really help with the wrists is to slightly turn the hands out. So rather than having the hands like this, maybe try turning them out a tiny little bit, just a little bit of outward rotation. So your thumbs and first fingers are pointing a little bit more forwards. And now press into the hands, straighten the arms, pause here. This is like down dog in the arms, right? If this feels like it's on the edge of discomfort, please stay here, don't go any further. If this feels okay, maybe tucking back toes and sending the hips up and back. If you've come up and again, it feels really uncomfortable, please come down. Otherwise, if this is manageable, breathing in your down dog, sitting bones, that's your bum, lifting up. Could you press into the outside edges of your hands if it feels comfortable, folks? And could you press the base of the thumb down if it feels comfortable? Active hands. Part of the trick of rehabbing is to get the hands more active so they're doing more to stabilize your wrists. One more breath. And then from here, knees back down if you lifted, left foot comes forwards, crescent lunge, and then high lunge coming all the way up, big step forwards, oh, mop your brow, mountain pose. From here, reach the hands towards me. I'm gonna teach you another wrist strengthening technique before we build more spicy flow. Fingertips join the thumbs, but now could you flick them open wide? Ha, <sighs> right, and then snap them shut, and open, and shut, and open, and shut, and faster. Like that very famous cat video, if you remember that one. <laughs> hands opening and closing really quickly, fingers really straight, go really wide. This is called shooting stars. Hold for five, strong forearms, four, strength, 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 three, stay with it, two, you're nearly there, one, shake it out, give your wrists and forearms a gentle loving squeeze, kiss, 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 okay, back into the flow now, chair pose when you're ready, breathing in, option to lift the heels up, option to breathe here, or to lower the hips all the way down to the ankles, and then come back up for five. You don't have to come down, but if you do, go down as far as feels good for four. Come back up. Keep the heels lifted down for three. If your ankles are shaking, so are mine. Two. And one. From here, forward fold, fingertips to the ground. Inhale, lift up halfway. Left foot steps back, back knee down. Crescent lunge, arms up by the ears. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. Dragon wings, exhaling. Inhaling, arms by the ears. This time arms stay by the ears, reach forwards. Option one, you're gonna hold here. Option two, warrior three with the arms forwards, back leg lifting, holding for five. Make your body as straight as possible. Point the back foot if it helps, four. Three, roll that left leg in slightly. Two, one, step back, warrior two. Well done, keeping it strong, reverse. Half moon, floating, back leg lifts. In half moon, the back foot is flexed, so push the heel like you're pushing it into a wall. Four, calm breath, three. Two, you've got this. Come back in if you fell out, it's no problem. One, back foot comes down. Reverse warrior. From here, reaching for the sun. 
carry the sun to the back of the mat. Opening out, warrior two. From here, reversing. And we're gonna flow straight back, reach for the sun. Carry to the front of the mat, warrior two. Staying in the flow. Left heel lifts, left hand comes down again. Twisted lunge. Drop the back knee, circle the right arm. Let's reach that right hand towards the back foot. Remember, you can adjust with that left hand. Option one, breathing here. Option two, bend the back knee, maybe reach for the foot. If you catch it, bring the foot in. Juicy, <laughs> juicy quad stretch. Go easy with it. If you have the foot, keep the heel coming in, keep the hips dropping. Two more breaths. Left wrist strengthening slightly. Imagine you're trying to lift away from it. And then release, hands come back down inside that front foot lizard. Option one, staying on the hands. Option two, maybe the outside elbow comes down. Option three, maybe the inside elbow comes down. Now, wherever you are, can you tuck your back toes, lift the back knee off the floor? We're gonna hold here, whichever hand placement you're in. If you love the details, press your left heel back, get really active in that back leg, holding three, holding two, and holding one. Release, come back to all fours. Option one, modified down dog on the knees. Option two, hips lift, downward dog. Keeping the hands well in front of the shoulders will be kinder on the wrists. Remember, you can turn them out slightly if it feels better. Two more deep breaths. And then lower the knees. From here, come onto your elbows. We're gonna gently link the fingers. And now take a little look. Check that you can see your elbows below your shoulders. Tuck the toes. Dolphin, hips lift. Press through the elbows. Your legs don't have to be straight. It's often better to bend the knees and really stick your butt up. Like a cat waiting for a scratch. <laughs> lift, lift your lower back and your butt up. <laughs> Press through the elbows. You've got this. Getting stronger every time we practice together. Three. Two deep breaths. One, slowly lower down. From here, coming back to the hands and knees, right foot steps forwards, high lunge coming up, and step to the front of the mat, mountain pose. Take a pause, take a breath. The hands join in sacred gesture, sacred contact. Connecting to a sense of deep inner strength. And you might feel that it's not there, but I promise you it is. I believe in you. Let's release the hands, second side, chair pose, breathing in. This time all the way straight down, exhale folding. Heart lifting, right foot coming back, back knee down. Inhale, hands like arrows to the sky, back toes tuck back, knee lifts, power up. From here, dragon wings, exhale. Inhale, reach to the sun for strength. And we're gonna lean forwards, arms by the ears, option one. Option two, warrior three, back leg coming up, holding five. Four, standing leg can totally be bent, but straight in the back leg, three. Two, one, step back, warrior two, reversing breath in. Half moon floating, breath out. If it takes you a little time to find it like me, that's cool. If you're straight in there, awesome. Four, arms wide. Three, back foot active, push through the heel. Two, one, step back, warrior. Two, reverse. Reach for the sun. Carry it to the back of the mat. Last time, warrior two. When you're ready, reversing. Reach for the sun. Slow and low through the hips, really work the legs. 
warrior two. Reversing. And then right hand comes all the way down, left hand comes up, twisted lunge. Back knee on the floor, circle the left arm. And let's reach for the back foot. Notice how open the chest can be here, lots of twist. Option two, reach for the foot. Maybe catch it, maybe bring it in. If it feels like there's a lot of weight in that right hand, imagine you're trying to lift off the wrist and off the shoulder. Almost spacing, creating like a little bubble of space in the joint, lifting away from it rather than collapsing. Okay, let's release. Wiggle the left foot out, lizard. Maybe on hands or elbows or combo platter. <laughs> I'm gonna stay on hands this time, but back knee is lifting. Straighten that back leg, five, four, deep breaths, three, two, and one. From here, come back to all fours. Option for child's pose, option for modified down dog, or option for down dog. I'm gonna take child's pose, but you might choose something different. Three or four more breaths. Really feel your breath moving in your body. It can really help calm the mind. It takes practice, but it does work. Okay, once again, we're going to come onto the elbows. Option one, link the fingers. If you want a stronger stretch in the shoulders, option two, take your hands apart. So elbows as wide as shoulders, check for me. Hands as wide as the elbows, palms flat. Coming up into dolphin again, whichever arm position you're in is fine. Hips up, press into the elbows. Imagine you're trying to send the weight back into your feet, weight coming back into the feet. Okay, option one, you're gonna hold here. Option two, bring your feet closer towards each other. And then maybe lifting the right leg, split dolphin, holding if you're with me. It's totally optional. Four, three, keep that top leg really straight if you lifted, really work it. Two, one, if you lift the foot, replace and switch sides. It's a long hold. Holding four. If your elbows are wiggling apart, bring them back in slightly. Three. Summon your deeper strength. Two. And one, lower the foot down, lower the knees down. We're gonna wiggle and lie all the way down. Take a moment, rest your head on your hands. Take a big exhale out. I feel like we can really appreciate the strength and the work when we take little moments to pause and rest, but not too long. <laughs> We're gonna reach the arms back beside the legs now. Spread the hands active, and can you push your hips into the ground? So press down through the hips, begin to lift the chest, half locust. Option one, breathing here. Notice I've got my neck quite long. Option two, lift the feet. Fiery option, option three, bring the heels and the big toes to touch. Squeeze the legs together if you're with me. Strong legs for three. Deep breaths for two. And one, release down, take a pause. We're gonna repeat this. Option one, repeat what you just did. Option two, maybe explore what we call bow pose, catching the ankles. So maybe watch me first. I'm gonna reach back. I'm catching around the outsides of my ankles with my hands. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep my thumb quite relaxed. I'm not gonna grip with my thumb. I'm gonna grip with my four fingers. That's gonna feel better in the wrist. And then if you're taking this position with me, press the hips down and begin to push the ankles back into the hands, lifting up into bow, or maybe locust, holding five. If you're in bow, relax the thumbs. Four. 
Cool. You can really press the legs back to stretch the shoulders and stretch the wrists. Three, two, one. Slowly lower down. We're going to keep the heat. Come onto the elbows. Push back. One more time in dolphin straight away. Let's work the shoulders, hips coming up. One more variation for you. If dolphin's easy, walk the feet even closer to your elbows. Lift the right leg. If you feel very strong and confident, option to take three little bunny hops on that left foot. You might take one, go easy, keep it small and controlled, two, three, change legs if you're lifting, elbows below shoulders, check. If you're bunny hopping, keep it light, tiny, three, two, one. From here, knees come down, child's pose. Really follow your exhale all the way out, breathe all the way out. Refreshing breath in. Two more. Slowly come back up onto the hands and knees. We're going to step one foot forwards, followed by the other mountain pose. Last bit of standing work here. For the last time, chair pose, breathing in. Exhale, folding forward, same sequence as before. Lift up halfway. Left foot comes back. If you're starting to think, I don't know if I can do it, it's really strong. Dig deep, you've got this. Back knee lifts, high lunge. Warrior three, arms forwards, holding here. Three. Straighten the arms, two. And one. Warrior two, stepping back. This time half moon, floating in. Extra challenging option here. Option for sugar cane. In sugar cane, you reach for the back foot, you catch the foot, and then you begin to lift the leg up like a bow pose. Three, two, I'm amazed I'm still in personally, and one, warrior two, reversing. Reach for the sun, let's keep going. Carry to the back of the mat. I know I said it was the last time. I didn't mean it, let's reverse. <laughs> reach for the sun. This time, as you travel, pause in the middle. Can you bend the knees, drop the hips low? Can you reach the hands forwards? Hold for three. Hold for two. Calm face, serene, Mona Lisa smile. And one. From here, continue, warrior two, front of your mat. Reversing. For the last time, this side, left hand down, right hand up. Drop the back knee. If you're catching the foot, great. If you're not catching it, great. If holding it is really easy, left elbow comes down, turn the chest, let the hips drop. Four more deep breaths. I've rolled my foot out a little bit, dropping my right knee to the side. See what feels good. And then from here, release, hands down, lizard. Final option, if you're coming onto the elbows really easily, and this one's really tricky, you might take your right arm underneath that left leg, right shoulder underneath the right knee, hands by the foot, wherever you are, back knee lifts, press into the front foot, keep the hip really strong. If you love little details, your right hip, can you send it back towards your left heel? Pull the right hip back towards the left heel. That'll make it work harder. Not that it needs it, but... Okay, knee comes down. From here, modified down dog. Or down dog, knees lifting. Five breaths, either way. If at this point your wrists are starting to feel like they've really worked because we've put a bit of weight in them, Maybe come back down to the knees. It's better to build rehab strength slowly and gradually. 
Okay, from here, knees coming down. We're gonna come up into a tall kneeling position. I'm gonna wipe the perspiration off my forehead. <laughs> so I'm working really hard. Tuck the back toes. And now could you rest your hands on what we call the sacrum. If you're not aware of what that is, there's kind of like a bony flat part way down at the base of your lower back. Place your palms on that little shelf and can you thrust your hips forwards with panache. Engage your glutes. Imagine you're squeezing your butt really firmly and then roll the shoulders back and down. Starting to move this in towards a back bend. Puff the chest up like a proud pigeon. <laughs> and then let's release. We're gonna step left foot forwards, followed by the right. Mountain pose, last cycle. Chair pose, breathing in. From here, folding, breathing out. Halfway up. Right foot coming back, back knee coming down. Inhale, arms up by the ears, crescent. Back toes tuck back, knee lifts. Dragon wings. And then warrior three, arms forwards, back leg lifting. Just three breaths. Two, take it right to the edge of your strength and endurance. One, warrior two. Building strength right at your edge, reaching into your half moon. Now it's really tricky, but maybe, maybe catching the back foot. Sugar cane pose. We call Artha Japasana in Sanskrit. Lift the back foot, holding two. Holding one, release, warrior two. Reversing, reaching for the sun, carrying it to the back of the mat. Warrior two. One last time, reversing. Reach for the sun. Again, we're gonna bring the sun into the middle of the mat. I'm gonna turn around. <laughs> and can you take your heels wide and start to straighten the legs, forward fold with the legs wide. If you can't get the hands down, no problem. Keep the knees a bit bent. I'm on my fingertips. Eventually, you might catch the sides of your ankles folding between straight legs. Settle your breathing. If you love the micro details, pull your shoulders back away from your ears gently so your neck feels free. Last one. And then we're gonna come all the way up to stand and step to the front of the mat. Oh, mountain pose. For a moment, bring the palms together. You made it. Let's take a moment to bask in the afterglow of your strength. Let's take a big breath out, breathe in. Let it all go. Two more. Ah, oh. the cleansing power of strength and playfulness. Okay, as we start to cool things down, step the feet a little bit wider than your hips. We're gonna bend the knees and take hold of the forearms. We're just gonna take a little hanging forward fold, swinging the arms side to side. And just rocking it out. And then from here, just finding a way to come into a kneeling position one last time. Moving all the way into camel. So you could repeat what we did last time. Hands on the sacrum area. Squeeze your butt. Press the hips forwards. Lift your chest. Option one. Option two, if it feels manageable in your wrists and your back, maybe one hand finds a heel. You could do one side at a time or maybe both hands find the heel, cupping the heel. Wherever you are, hips forwards, keep your butt squeezed, squeeze, squeeze, lift the chest. Holding for four. If you're on one arm, switch sides. Three. Two. And one, slowly release, come back up. And child's pose. Take a deep breath out.
from your child's pose, slowly come up. We're going to swing the legs round. And then copying me, you can use your fingertips behind you very gently. And could you bring your left foot against your right thigh somewhere? So let the knee drop out to the side. And then use the fingertips to sit tall. So I'm going to give you three options for a hamstring stretch here. Option one, if it's hard to sit tall, if you find you're falling back, use the fingertips and lift the chest, you'll get a good stretch. Option two, maybe the hands hold the leg or even the foot. If that's fairly easy, option three, you might bend the front knee, take both hands to hold the side of the foot, and then lengthen the leg up. This is called heron pose, like the very elegant bird. Elegant bird with a large mouth, I relate. Lifting the chest. If you're in heron, keep the chest lifted. If you're in the forward fold, take the chest towards the ankle. Three more breaths. And then let's slowly release. If you lift the leg, place it down. Listen closely, your right foot. Bend the right knee. And can you step the foot next to the left knee? If you've got loads of space, you could even go to the other side. I'm going to stay here. And now send your right hip down. See if you can sit that right hip onto the floor. Maybe yes, maybe no. Left arm. Reach it forwards to me. Show me your diamond ring if you have one. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Still waiting. Circle the arm around the knee. Fingertips come behind you. Lift the chest into a twist. If you find this chest compresses the chest area or belly area, you could take the foot a little bit wider. And you can also, no one ever tells you this, you can also use the hands to move the chest across, like move whatever needs to be moved so it feels a bit taller. It's legitimate, right? If you are blessed with ample bosom, as they sometimes say. And then let's release, take the legs out, give them a little shake, changing sides. The right foot comes in, I think. I sometimes get mixed up, maybe you do too, it's cool. Fingertips come, be come behind you on the second leg, lift the chest. Option one. Option two, folding forwards. Notice I'm trying to keep my chest going forwards, I'm not coming down here like I'm in stealth mode. Chest lifting, option three, holding the sides of the foot, maybe seeing if you might straighten the leg up into heron. With all these forward folds, there's a feeling of openness across the chest, like you were wearing um, a beautiful necklace and displaying it. Or you've got a really cool tattoo, maybe you have. One more breath. And then slowly release. Okay, listen closely. Left foot. And now the left foot steps either on the inside of that bent right knee or across to the other side. You can use the left hand behind you, sit tall. Again, if you need to move chest or front of the body to the side a little bit, can feel really good. And then let's take that right arm around the knee. See if you might drop that back shoulder a little bit and press into the hand. So you feel very tall in the spine. That'll help you breathe and it will also help you rotate more. Okay, we're gonna release. And then from here, as we start to wrap up, we're gonna lie down, bend your knees. And I wanna give you a little tip before we come into Shavasana. It can be really nice to take your hands behind your head. Try this with me. Gently lift your head off the floor, cup the back of the head. And could you almost move your head back a little bit, almost like you're gently lengthening the neck and then place the base of your skull a little bit further back. So the back of your neck will probably feel really long. And now we're gonna bring the feet together and allow the knees to drop out to the sides. So my feet and legs are in a diamond shape. Option one, let your hands rest on the ground. 
which will help you feel centered and grounded. Option two, you could rest the hands on the front of your body, which can feel really comforting to some. Let's take a big belly breath in through the nose, filling up the belly. Deep breath out through your mouth. Empty all the effort. Breathing in, we calm our body and mind. Breathing out, a sense of more space or maybe even serenity, maybe. Breathing in, we calm our body and mind. Breathing out, we release into space. As we take Shavasana, if this position feels really good in your hips, you could stay here with me for a couple minutes. Or you might prefer to straighten the legs out as we come to rest. Give your jaw a little wiggle, see if anything could soften there. And then also sense into the muscles of your face and around your eyes and see if anything could soften or release. If your mind feels like it gets busy here, you could gently scan your attention down your body, noticing any areas that could soften a bit more or ungrip. If it's easy for you to rest, just let it all go. Staying together with me in silence for just another couple minutes. Letting everything settle. So, gently deepening your breathing again. If it feels good to you, maybe once again resting hands on the front of the body as an option. And just for a moment, sensing how you feel, checking in with yourself. How does this kind of practice make you feel today, in this moment? And if things feel a little bit better than when you started, just remember that yoga can always offer us that. And if for whatever reason you don't feel better, some days are just like that, it's okay. Maybe next time we practice, it will be different. We can hope. Let's start to wiggle fingers and toes and take a big stretch out. <sighs> Walking feet in gently with kind of friendliness, 
and maybe hugging your knees in. And rolling to one side. Just a very gentle way to transition as we slowly come back up to sit. <clears throat> so finding comfortable cross-legged position, whatever that is for you. And just for a moment, just give your hands a gentle squeeze. Kind of acknowledge your wrists, give them a little bit of love. <laughs> Kiss for good measure. Let's join palms to close, sacred contact of the palms. Bowing head to heart, acknowledging the importance of our mind, but the deep, incredible wisdom of the heart and the body and aligning to that in our lives. With a little bow to each other in practice. Shanti, 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 peace, peace, peace. So thanks so much for joining me on another step of the risk-free journey. As always, leave me comments below. I really wanna know how you're getting on with these flows. And if you've been with me for a little while and you're starting to build some strength back in your wrists, that's fabulous. We're going to keep doing that. Have a great week until I see you next time and I'm forever yours in practice. <laughs>